Alright, ito na, ito na, ito na. Okay, medyo high level na natin ng konti. Kasi bago natin pag-usapan ng West Philippine Sea, yung China angle, kasi may mga conspiracy theories or whatever, may hypothesis, may may nagsabing blogger, may, may, may blogger na nagsabi daw na may nakausap daw siya sa loob ng administration at parang basa nila dito. I don't know kung may smoking gun or hindi. Kung may smoking gun, something else to be done. It's like, mukhang yung amo ng isang to, yan ang nagpa-pressure daw sa kanila to openly challenge Marcos Jr. Because aminan natin, if you were China, sinong gusto mo maging presidente, di ba? Given how things are turning out, di ba? But before we're going there, ang dami ko nakita mga maps ng Mindanao, tapos kasama pa yung Palawan. Ano to, land grabber China style ba yan? Have you seen those maps? May pagka-European Union flag pa siya, style na blue and stars. Like, what's going on? There? I mean, how serious is this Mindanao separation, drama, etc.? Is this like just a desperate, like just, you know, lashing out kind of okay, drama? Alam mo, seryoso yan, no? Uh, kahit naman nung panahon ni Pinoy, kahit nung panahon ni Tigong, na nag escalate yan eh. No? Dahil nga, uh, uh, tingin nila, kahit itong panahon ni Tigong eh, wala naman masyadong uh, development na nangyari sa Mindanao. No? Yung pinakamataas na self-rated hunger is still in Mindanao. So, six years kang presidente, yung anak mo nakakuha ng 51 billion, tapos gutom pa rin yung mga Mindanawan, tingin mo sasama sa iyan para magsisid? Are you crazy? Di ba? Ayun yung kahit buhusan ng pera yan ng China na hindi nila kayang gawin ngayon. Dahil marami silang economic problems, no? marami silang internal problems, nagpe-purging sila no? ng mga general. Kahit, kahit kwan, no? sobrang malaking conspiracy theory. No? Uh, alam ko nakikialam man China, pero I doubt kung uh, itong nangyari sa Dabao ay sila yung nagplano. No? Uh, una, dahil alam ko kung sino yung nagplano. <laughs> alam ko kung sino yung nagplano. Kaya uh, siguro later, no? susuportahan nila yung lahat na yan. Pero hindi ako naniniwala doon sa conspiracy theory na uh, Deus, Deus ex machina, no? That the Communist Party of China ang nagplano ng lahat ng ito. Tutulungan nila, susuportahan nila, i-encourage nila. Pero iba ang nagplano nito. No? Iba ang nagplano nito. But for a moment, let's just say for the sake of argument na may China angle ito. Ang, ang, ang point ko lang naman dito is, I don't think China is that stupid to invest in a losing side, di ba? That could actually cost them a lot down the road. I mean, you could also argue that one reason perhaps na walang masyadong malaking investment ng panahon ng Digong is because siguro they were questioning whether eto, this guy can deliver us what we're looking at long term, which is taking out the Americans out of the picture, allowing us to bring in our investments under our own terms, uh, in terms of sustaining yung passive positions of West Philippine Sea. So, I mean, if you're China, I mean, you don't even need a A-level analyst katulad ng uh, OGR natin to realize na medyo mahina talaga yung isang kampo dito at medyo nakakalat na, medyo regional power at most, not even sub, like sub-regional power even, arguably, di ba? Pero, pero... Ayun na yun, uh, they're reaping the whirlwind. Dahil walang nakitang projects for the past six, six years. No? So, nag-unravel din yung kanilang political narrative ng China. No? Kung meron silang napat- napatayo na isang fast train, meron silang napatayo na isang, uh, isang uh, industrial estate, no? etc. Meron kang tatlo na big ticket projects na makikita ng mga tao, baka iba yung pagtingin sa China. So, they missed the boat. No, they yeah. missed the boat. That was no? a golden opportunity oh, for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. You have a you have a very popular president na sobrang pro China, more than any president sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. Tapos min sinayang mo, 'di ba? Ni hindi mo natulungan, no? Yung kanila. So, yun yung sinasabi ko, no? Uh, at ngayon, kahit sinusubukan nilang maghabol, hindi na ganoon kadali. 'Di ba? Hindi na ganoon kadali. Dahil iba na yung gobyerno eh. Diba? Kung, kung magpapasok ka ng mga proyekto, dadaan pa rin yan sa gobyerno, dadaan yan sa NEDA, no? dadaan yan sa DOF, dadaan yan sa, sa presidente. No? So, mahihirapan na sila. Uh, what about the aspect of more and more business people? Hindi lang one oligarch or two, but <laughs> business groups and all coming out and saying we're losing a lot on investment and all. Trying to use that argument to win back well, the Filipino people. Well, so far, ang narinig ko lang si Tessie Gosson si dahil siyempre eh, yung, yung Chinese Shumar, Filipino business community also oh, may nag-release yata yung iba oh, diyan eh. Oh. oh, dahil ang ang, ang narinig ko diyan yung uh, si Tessie Gosong si yung kausap ko yung mga Phil Chai, ayaw nilang magsalita. No, dahil 
ayaw din nilang uh, mailagay sa bad sa bad side ng presidente no uh, or of the Filipino people i mean considering oh, that 7 8 out of 10 oh, or 8 out of 10 want us to ally with alam mo naman may la, mayroong uh, under may undercurrents ng racism sa mga mga Pilipino no pag yeah, unfortunate na, sumab- oh unfortunate sumabog yan no uh, alam nila tatamaan sila kaya hindi lang sila maingay pero yung Shumart kasi is 80 90% no imports from china no kaya kaya sila yung mauuna na magsabi na magsalita at ganun din yung uh, so rational lang sa kanila to be a little bit you know a little bit oh, open about baka nga sinabihan yan. baka nga sinabihan sila ng mga partners nila magsalita naman kayo but wala nang sasalita para sa amin diyan oh. di ba but but, uh, but wala sumasagot diyan sa Richard Haydarian na yan no bakit oh, wala but wala sumasagot just din doman hit na yan no but wala sumasagot just sa Renato De Castro na yan no no sagutin niyo naman wala <laughs> walang sumasagot diyan no eh kay OGR kay to niyo na sagutin niyo si yung Yamas no hindi wala namang sumisiryoso diyan eh no si Robin Hood ang sumasala na si Robin Hood oh. kay Yamas oh. pero kan lang ano eh may nakabantay oh. sa iyo pag nagdi-deliver ka eh Oh, tonto ako kay Robin Hood. Eh. Biro mo yung yung viewers namin do sa aming away, umaabot ng 400,000. Yeah. Yung viewers, crazy, yeah. Ano, ang taas no no. Do sa Kwanso, inangat inangat ako ni Robin Hood eh without knowing it, no? Inangat niya ako eh, Actually, no? Actually, yung breakout <laughs> moment ko. Kaya just na natin 100,000 views eh, yung about. Kaya sabi ko sa Salamat, Senator, no? Yo. Wala daw wala daw ako sa pansin. Salamat, uh, Senator. Okay, yun ang kailangan natin, RR. <laughs> RRR, Triple R with Robin Hood. Diba? Ang ganda sa amin yan. Robin and OG ang kasama natin. Di masaya ang usapan niyo with Sir Robin Hood, ano, Padilla, Senator Padilla and all of that. I mean, of course, you can think about a crazy situation whereby, let's say, nang gulo yung iba dyan sa Mindanao and China has an interest in I don't know, funding a baby insurgency or something like that. Kasi for me, either way, Parang in a way na nanalo din ng China, di ba? Kasi yun yung concern ko na kung passive-aggressive or or indecisive or conflict avoidant na naman si BBM, ang problema dyan is talo pa rin yung bansa natin. <laughs> ako ang concern ko, kasi next episode pag-usapan natin, ano bang dapat gagawin ng totoo? <laughs> but, but, oh, but, tama but, yan, but, uh, Big R. Kausap ko lang yung kausap ko lang isang business columnist sa uh, isang major newspaper nila. Natin, no? Ang sabi nila, uh, there goes the MOU no there goes the investment no dahil wala namang papasok dito na ganito kagulo di ba yeah. no isang isang Talo pa rin ang bansa natin eh yun uh, isang ex president threatening no threatening <laughs> the isang threatening with ex everything president. So sabi Everything niya, Paul Boron, pagot yung kabila, <laughs> fentanyl. I mean like, oh. where in the world do you have a president, diba? ex-president, oh. diba? exchanging oh. barbs na ganyan, na, you oh. know, adik ka, adik ka rin. I mean like, oh my goodness, like this is diba? crazy. Like this is crazy. So yung, yung may mga ticket na, na business class or first class na papunta rito, no, para mag-sign ng mga letter of intent, no, o ng mga feasibility study. Oh, ah, wait, 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 wait. Manood wait. muna tayo kay Ronald Diamas. At <laughs> Inintay nila yung RRR analysis muna bago pumunta. Oh, pati yung mga military people dito, mga experto. Kasi yung mga puro-puro iba't ibang ministry yung pinuntahan ko, yung mga expert dito. Lahat sila, like, what is going on inside your country? Kasi habang nasa meeting ako naman, napaka-importante. Guess what? Nag- nagsiscreen record ako ni tatay. Nag- <laughs> post post ako ganun ganun crazy 5 million views sa Instagram lang <laughs> yung mga post post natin that was insane so this is kagabi kagabi na sa EU day tayo na kami no binanggit ka ni Robbie Alampay no no bakit ano yan pero no muntik akong tumutol eh sabi ko pet pinabanggit si kun dito si Big R no okay uh, ano na yan ano uh, parang may ginawa? ginawa may ginawa ka may tulong ka sa EU no may tulong ka sa kanya no so nabanggit oh, wow. sa dun sa kwan no dun sa EU day no uh, pero kausap ko yung mga nandoon no yung mga iba't ibang bansa no talaga uh, they they were aghast <laughs> what's happening no <laughs> what's happening no lahat ng threats na pwedeng mong gawin ginawa ng isang uh, ex president no yeah. hindi nila maiimagine yon sa Europe ha? with all their uh, lunatics Crazy. Yeah. With all their own crazies, with all their uh, populist, populist, no? demagogic, oh, yung oh, prime minister kahit, lang ng Netherlands. Oh, kahit, 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 yung, kahit yung mga lunatics nila ron, may limits, no? Ang ang mga lunatics natin dito, no? Walang limits, no? <laughs> sana, sana all, sana all yung mga natin, all the way, sana all oh. the way. 
Pero grabe, di ba? Insultin mo yung city president na gano'n na may kaso ka pa. Oh, Kawasap ko rin yung may bati mong mga bansa, di ba? Kasi, no? Crazy. It's crazy. I mean, kaya nga, sabi ko, kaya sa magpa-popcorn, popcorn tayo. I mean, I know dami dyan nagpa-popcorn. Kasi kita ko sa responses, like, crazy. Ah. At 11pm nag-post ako, naka 2.7 million views yung pinost. Instagram lang yan. I mean, this is not even... <laughs> so, because, tapos pupunta ka sa comment section, like 5,000 comments. Pero, tawanan lang, puro mga ganyan-ganyan. Parang, okay, I see it's funny in a way kasi I feel you. Parang, <laughs> I feel mga kakamping din dyan, of course, na di ba sabi niya, ano ulit yung sinabi ni Lenny no? Ano ulit yung sinabi namin sa inyo? Yan, nagkakalat-galat na sila. Nag, nag, but, di ba, Ronald, talo pa rin ang bansa natin kasi kung magulo tayong tingnan. Definitely. We look like Definitely. a banana republic. Yun nga eh. Yun Definitely, yung, no? I heard ako oh. bilang Pinoy na, syempre pinapalaki ko. Ngayon, ngayon pa naman na yung presidente ay nagbubuo ng political project na ostensibly ay nakakaroon ng political vision, nakakaroon ng political platform, no? Nagsisimula biglang uh, somebody rained on his party, no? Actually it didn't rain, no? Hurricane, no? I thought of something worse, <laughs> but I will not say it off the record. Yes, yun ano pwede ko sabihin. But yun nga, I mean, spoiler slash destabilizer slash Karen, whatever term you want to use, grabe naman yan. So, Don't you think that BBM has to show the president and and try to I, I mean, 'di ba? I mean, alam mo, alam mo big arm, oh, may na siya eh. May encourage yung mga destabilizers, no? May encourage yung mga detractors, no? May encourage yung mga platters, no? Ay, kaya pala ito, no? Ni ni hindi pinagtanggol yung asawa, no? Ni hindi ni hindi uh, ni hindi kumanti, no? Kung yung tatay niya yan, no? Eh durog na yan. Nanyuk na yung Davao, no? Kung yung tatay niya. So, he is now being measured. At sana he won't too be measured. Yun nga, too he, measured. he won't he won't be found one thing, no? Yun nga, yun like, pala, no? Di ba yun yung sinabi natin? Yun yung old isa sa mga paradox ni Marcos Jr. na the, the most conflict avoidant president we have had is inviting the most amount of conflict from the <laughs> ultimate Karen of our our history kasi you have to show strength you yeah. have to draw the line you're the president i mean at some point yeah. so so sa tingin mo the best option for BBM is to help accelerate the warrants of arrest by ICC i mean let's just say what it is right mukhang well, that looks like the best option for him. Siya, pero kailangan niya mag-scale up ng kaunti no walang kinalaman ng asawa ko rito kung merong sinasabi na yung yung asawa ko ay uh, takaw kapangyarihan, no? Mga sinungaling 'yan. 'Di ba? Mga cool jack TV. Diba? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mga sinungaling 'yan, no? Uh, yung mga 'yan, no? Uh, at wala akong pakialam kung sino yung mga 'yan, no? Kung sino yung tatamaan, no? Uh, ipagtatanggol ko ang aking uh, ang aking asawa at ang aking gobyerno at ang aking uh, Uh, ang aking bangon Pilipinas. Oh, dangal lang, oh, dangal na ating bayan ng opisina ng presidente. So, y- yun nga, like, grabe. Dapat, dapat magpakita siya ng kwa, no? Ngipin. <laughs> Medyo may... Oh, ng pangil. No? Ng pangil, pangil, yeah, yeah. Pangil. Oh, sorry. Oh, claws or claws oh, at least, right? Okay, I think oh. it sets it on perfectly for for our for or next. Or else, or else, yeah. or else, may encourage yung kanyang mga kalaban. Yun nga eh. Ano siya, moral hazard yan eh. You know, when people cross the line and you let them get away with it, <laughs> lalo mo Karen, lalo mo kakaren yung Kevin na yan, di ba? So, the, the president hmm. has to show the president at the end of the day. I mean, it's not like he didn't do it in the past, right? Tingnan mo yung hindi niya binigay yung national defense kay Sara, yung speaker ambitions ni Arroyo, hinayan na si Martin to push with removing confidential. But it's not like he hasn't put down, you know, the... Pero, the, pero you know, alimawa, yung sona yeah. niya, anong sabi niya sa sona? No? Bilang na ang oras ng mga hoarders, ng mga smugglers, ng mga cartel, No? So, nasa na tayo ngayon? Doon sa kanyang... Uh, Nagbibilang ng oras. Bilang ng oras. Bilang lang tayo. Diba? Ilan, ilan oh. taon pa. <laughs> diba? Kung yan ay magpapatuloy, no? tapos wala siyang ipapakitang uh, pangil. No? Pangil, Dato, yes. Correct, correct. Sa kanyang mga, ma, mga mismong sinabi niya na kalaban ng bansa, eh, he will be measured and found wanting. No? Yeah. I mean, found wanting is an mm-hmm. understatement, especially after what's happening. I know there are people inside who are so pissed off about this. But interestingly, you have also people from the pink uh, and opposition, real opposition, saying that maybe this is time to support BBM para because the biggest threat still to our democracy 
is uh, the Karens that uh, we were talking about. But having said that, there's another conspiracy theory that I want to discuss in the next episode. The other conspiracy theory, Ronald, is this is also good for BBM because lahat tayo distracted, nag nagpa popcorn lahat, but the chacha and other kinds of initiative, Maharlika fun, all of them can be still going on going forward. So in a way, this is also creating distraction and mist while the 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 you know bagong <laughs> Filipinas projects nostalgic populism whatever is still moving forward so uh, let's discuss that nang uh, pag-usapan natin ang masinsina sa susunod na episode kasi gusto ko rin pag-usapan saan naman yung totoong opposition because you know like it was one big sunday two different camps and then lahat na lang naging analyst ngayon like hindi pwedeng analyst lahat tayong dalawa na yan kayo na yung politiko kayo na mag-organize hindi pwedeng lahat Pansin ko yung isa nag-FB nag live analysis na lahat. Hindi naman tayo pwede lahat maging food vlogger, di ba? Or, or travel vlogger. Hindi naman division of labor tayo, di ba? Yun ang kailangan natin. Salamat Sir Ronald Diamas for that fantastic discussion. 